Hi, I expect you are watching this video because you have recently purchased or are looking to buy a new Amazon Echo Show. You may be wondering what makes it different to a normal Amazon Echo. In this video, I'm going to show you tips and tricks that I use almost every day to get the most out of my Echo Show 8. These tips will also work on other Amazon Echo Show devices. Before I go any further, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I have multiple smart device videos that will help you to get the most out of your device. Make sure you stay around to the end of the video where I'll give my number one tip of everybody with an Echo Show should know. I've left timestamps in the description so you can jump to whatever section you're interested in. This includes routines, timers, YouTube and Prime Video, music, cooking and more. I've changed the wake word on my Echo to computer so I don't trigger your device by mistake. If you want to do this yourself, just scroll down from the top of the screen. Press settings, scroll down to device options and select wake word. From here you have four options of what you can call your device. The first tip I'm going to share is setting timers and reminders. This may sound boring, but if you have an Amazon Echo in the kitchen, you will thank me later. I think I had seven different timers when I was cooking Christmas dinner last year. If you already have an Echo, you know that you can set a timer by asking, computer, set a two minute timer. Two minutes, starting now. The Echo will tell you that a two minute timer has been set and it will start a countdown. One of the neat features on the Echo Show is that the timer will be displayed on the top right hand corner of the screen. You can set as many timers as you like, however only the timer that is due next will display on the top right hand side of the screen. Computer, 30 second timer. Second timer, 30 seconds, starting now. When there are just 10 seconds to go, a 10 second countdown animation will appear. The Echo will then alert you that the timer is up. You can dismiss the timer by either saying the wake word followed by stop or by pressing dismiss on the screen. A more advanced option is setting reminders. These are great if you're setting multiple timers as they remind you what you need to do. For example, when I was cooking my Christmas dinner, I needed to remember to put the potatoes in the oven at four o'clock. So I said, computer, Remind me to put the potatoes in the oven at four o'clock. Is that four o'clock in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 4 p.m. You can also do this by time. For example, computer, remind me to take the potatoes out of the oven in 30 seconds. Okay, I'll remind you in 30 seconds. The Echo Show will give you a vocal reminder and display the reminder on the screen when the time is up. This is a reminder. Take the potatoes out of the oven. Computer, stop. You can also use your show to set up music or radio alarms. For example, you could say, wake me up to dance music. Alarm for what time? 6 a.m. Alarm set for 6 a.m. tomorrow to IB for classics on Spotify. While we are talking about alarms, if you use a show in your bedroom, you might be concerned about somebody accessing your camera. Thankfully, the camera has a cover that you can simply slide over to make it impossible for anyone to see you. You can also mute the microphone by pressing a button on the top left hand corner of a device. You will know it's been muted because the button will glow red and a red bar will appear at the bottom of the display. Now back to the kitchen. Personally, I watch a lot of YouTube videos whilst I'm cooking. Just say, computer, open YouTube. Here is YouTube. You can then select the video you want to watch. If you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, you might want to watch something on Amazon Prime. Just say, computer, open Prime Video. Here's Prime Video. You can then select whatever you want to watch. You could also ask for something in particular. For example, if I wanted to watch the Grand Tour, I would say, Computer, play the Grand Tour on Prime Video. Here's the Grand Tour Season 1 Episode 8. I will also often listen to the radio in the kitchen. Just ask for whatever station you would like to listen to. I like to listen to BBC Radio 1 Dance. So I would just say, Computer, play BBC Radio 1 Dance. Here's BBC Radio 1 Dance. BBC Sounds. <laughs> 
You can also listen to music from your favourite music service, including Amazon Music, Spotify and Apple Music. If you haven't linked your service, just go to the Amazon Echo app. Press the play button on the bottom of the screen, press manage your services and press link new service. If you have an Amazon Music subscription, you will also find with most songs you can display the lyrics on the screen. Simply touch the lyrics button whilst the music is playing. This is great if you want to sing along. Now let's talk about smart home devices. After setting up your Echo, you can ask it to perform a search to look for any smart devices on your network. Just say, computer, search for smart home devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Turn on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. After a short while, the show will let you know if it's able to find any new devices. I found bathroom, and you can control it by saying, turn off bathroom. To rename it, tap the name on the screen. Once found, you can control your devices through the touch screen or by asking. For example, computer, set the thermostat to 22. The heat set to 22. Computer, show me the front door. Okay. Control for devices through the touchscreen. Simply drag from the right hand side of the screen to the right and press the smart home button. From here you'll see a list of all the devices you can control at the touch of a button. This feels really futuristic the first time you try it. Another great feature to try is routines. Routines let you trigger a number of actions with a single phrase. For example, when you get home, you might want for lights to turn on, for heating to turn on, and the radio to play. To set up routines, you need to go to the Amazon app. Press the more button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Press routines and press the plus symbol on the top right hand corner of the screen. Choose a name for routine. So I'm going to call mine home. Press next. Then press the when this happens button to choose a phrase you're going to say. So mine will be I'm home. Press next. Then choose the actions. First of all, I will go to Smart Home and select the Lighting and Thermostat. I will then go to Music and type in the name of a radio station. And lastly, I'll choose a device for it to play on. So I will choose my Echo Show. Once complete, press save. You should now go back to your show and slide your finger from the left of the screen and select routines. You now need to make sure the toggle is on for your new routine. You can now activate the routine by pressing the play button or by saying the command. For example, computer, I'm home. Routines are a really useful feature and I recommend you spend some time setting them up so they work for you. Another feature you might find helpful is cooking. If you're stuck for ideas, just ask for a recipe. For example, computer, show me recipes for chocolate brownies. Okay, for chocolate brownies, here are a few recipes and lots more. You can then select the recipe you want to cook. One useful tip is if you press the Add to Shopping List button, the show will send the ingredients to the shopping list on the app on your phone. Once you start the recipe, it will talk you through your step-by-step -step instructions. You can press the buttons, but as you'll be getting your hands messy, you can ask to see the next step. Computer, next step. Step two. In another bowl. Computer, an electric at eight. stop. 
Another useful feature is news and weather. For example, computer, is it going to rain tomorrow? No rain is expected in Walton on the Nays tomorrow. By the way, there's a flood alert for that area. Computer, play Sky News. From Sky News. From the Sky News Centre at 11, the retail giant which owns Topshop. The show can also answer questions and display the answer on the screen. For example, computer, 7 times 12. 7 times 12 is 84. Computer, how many feet in an inch? 1 inch is 0 0.0833 feet. Computer, how old is Bill Gates? Bill Gates is 65 years old. The tips I've shared so far are the features I use most often on my Echo Show. However, as promised, there is another useful tip that I'm going to share as I can't show you everything the Echo Show can do in a single video. If you have the Echo Show, scroll down from the top and go to Settings. From here, scroll down to Things to Try. This will show you a list of commands that you can try. If you're after trying one feature in particular, press Show Categories. From here, you can see a list of commands you can try from each category. I would love to know what your favourite commands and tips are in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful as it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.